Hey guys, Rick here. All right, I may be on to something. So I've been playing around all day. Thank God my wife is patient. Thank you, my dear. I appreciate that. Um, these are pretty much the same ones that I've made, and I have remade them several times uh, from anywhere from the spray caustic to a heat painting on a carbon. Um, and uh, the, just going down the line, what we've got now is that the thing I remember Cash saying is to put them into a steam bath. Well, that's what I did. I put them in my, uh, my cook, what do they call it, a crock pot, and put my caustic in it. And I put them in for about 10 minutes, and they were all saturated wet when I got them out. But once they're dried off, I put them on the amp meter, and I have half a volt. I, uh, and it's getting stronger. So this is the first one. I wanted to show you what I came up with. So the big one here, this one, I, the tinfoil was too tight, so, or the coil was too tight, so I loosened the coil and slid it over there and then tightened the coil back up. Kind of looks a little sloppier, but uh, it, it's still, it's actually going down on that one. When I move it around, it goes down. Now let's look at the next one. So this one here is, this one fit perfect on there. And this one was a, uh, that was a cold caustic spray. Ganzed and then rolled up and it fit perfectly. Now, this one here has the coil inside of it. This one has a single beam. It's not coiled, just one beam through there. This one here is reading 0.1 volts. Point, point 0.11. Okay, so that one's on a point 0.11. Let's look at the next one. This one is a single beam, not a coil on the inside. It's just a straight piece of copper. Look at this. We've got 0.71. So this one is definitely working pretty good. So looking at that, and this is the straight beam. It doesn't have a coil. And then we look at then we'll look at the next one. So that one right there, that was 0 0.72, 0 0.71. Normally they'll go up a couple degrees, a couple points. Now look at the next one. Okay, now this one here. This one is made with a single beam again. So I have all different kinds in here. Um, so it's a single beam. Uh, these split capacitors are, what did I do? Three times nine, I believe. So those would be 27 turns. So these are all 27 turns, the split capacitor. That's one thing I did the same on these up here. When we come down to this one, though, it's different. But back to this guy. So straight beam right there, straight beam, 27 turns on each split. Put into caustic steam for 10 minutes. And we got 0 0.4, 0 0.4 volts. Now let's look at the next one. Now this one has a coil inside of the of the tin foil, and it's 18 turns, so it's 18 and 18, and on the inside it's three times nine it would be 27 turns. Um, is that right? 18, oh, excuse me, 45 turns. On the inside is 45, 18 and 18, and on this one we're showing 0.7 volts. Point, excuse me, 0.27. Okay. Now, this is the one, <laughs> this little guy, is the one I built first, and it was a spray caustic, cold spray caustic, and it has 27 coil turns on the inside, 27 on the inside. <clears throat> I lightly Gans dipped that, then it's cold caustic spray, on the aluminum, both sides, let it dry, 
and uh, then it was just paint on my GANs, and I saw that, uh, oh, who was doing it? Lita. Lita was using a paintbrush, and I'm like, that was a neat idea. So I went and grabbed a paintbrush, and I was all able just to paint it on real nice once it builds up, and I use my soup. My soup is, I dry it out as the consist consistency that I need, and, and I use it as I need. But I'm back to this little guy. So this little guy here, we have almost a volt, 0.96, and it held that voltage for a couple minutes as I've been messing with this. But this little guy right here, it's cold caustic spray on the aluminum, let it dry, um, and 27 turns on the inside, lightly GANS coated, wrapped with a GANS copper, and then a steam caustic bath for about 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, and here we go, it's almost a volt. So, if you think about it, <laughs> you have four of these times three, there's 12 volts. What do you know? So, uh, now I'm going to get creative and see if I can put these guys together. Here's my idea. I've got this little thing here that, that Armin created. It's all his idea, not mine. And uh, then if I can mount the four of them right in there, they'll be their own little cell. And you can move them around. What do you think? Well, let's see what I'd get next. Thanks, guys. Good luck. I hope that worked for you guys. I'm still holding that voltage. I'll see how long it'll hold. But that's 0.98 on this little guy right here. Hey, I hope that helps. If anybody else got some feedback, please let me know. Peace, everybody. Take care.